Ah, oh, good morning all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old git in the corner on a hmm, Tuesday with a nice clear blue sky. Uh, that will probably last till about 11 o'clock till when the flights start, but there you go. <laughs> so, after yesterday's uh, court case with Tommy Robinson appearing, um, 18 months, um, with good behaviour and what have you, he'll probably serve half that, although rapists, violent criminals serve probably 40% now before they get let on the streets but um, that one case now just the one case has condemned journalism in this country proper journalism it's condemned free speech freedom of expression as a thing of the past proper journalism you know we don't see it very often nowadays but it totally shuts down the very idea of being able to talk about and show the truth. Every journalist in this country should be worried now. Well, except for those corrupt ones that uh, follow the narrative in mainstream media and continue to publicise the government controlled bullshit. You know, when somebody goes to jail for showing and telling the truth, there is something fundamentally wrong in this country. We were a free country, and I use the word were there very specifically. This case is just being used, in my opinion, to show just how far these assholes will go to hide the truth but they've missed a very very big point the fact that millions have already seen the documentary silenced we've seen the truth we know the truth it's only you lot that you can't handle the truth yeah we know just how corrupt the system is and mainstream media what are they going to do they can't lock us all up for knowing can they anyway tomorrow's budget day now I won't be doing a video in the morning um, obviously because I will be concentrating on what's going on in and around the budget um, but we will talk about it in tomorrow night's live stream and uh, you know get your views on what you think about what they're gonna what fresh hell they're going to unleash on us in the name of filling their own pockets and giving away our money to other countries so they can big themselves up you know, leaving us to pick up the tab as usual. Now, I was always told you only ever borrow money to make money, not improve your lifestyle. But they seem to think they can borrow money to improve other countries' lifestyles and expect us to pay back that loan. Buck off, that's what I say. Go fuck yourselves, you evil bastards and reform mm. well you lot did very well at the last election didn't you you spoke all the right words to get support and you got it you were given it but with Richard Tice's speech the other day that you don't align with any follow followers of Tommy Robinson well, with the local elections coming up, you know, I'll, I'll show you a visual representation of what I think is just a small number of the votes you're going to lose. Just through your words, Tice. Think of that. 
And this is the problem. Politicians don't think before they open their mouths most of the time. But you've lost probably all the support of those people there. That's thousands and thousands of votes. Do you think you're going to do as well at the uh, by-elections in May? Yeah, you started well, but you're starting to slip now. Hmm. But anyway, back to the court case. Now, the judge said, and I quote, nobody is above the law. Well, in my view, that is, unless you're a corrupt politician, a judge, a child molester, a rapist, a shop fit lifter, or even just a member of the Labour Party. Please feel free to add to that list, people. <laughs> yep, th th this country is going to hell. It really is, and... I can still see the shit hitting the fan and something big going off. And I think tomorrow will probably be the last straw. It's supposed to be a budget for the working people. Okay, they might not raise, ta raise taxes for the working people, but every other fucking raise around them, including the bus fares even, is going to hit every working person person in this country they're all backdoor taxes everything they're going to bring in tomorrow is a backdoor tax on the working people I'm hoping I'm wrong but I can't see it with what I'm seeing and hearing but until tomorrow people obviously we're going to have a lot to discuss tomorrow night so I'm going to try and have a kip through the day to try and last a bit longer this week but until then as always, stay safe, stay strong, and stay free more than ever now. Respects, guys. <laughs>